hello lovelies welcome back once again to my channel this is myself here it is always pleasant to have you here if today is the first time stopping by hello there and welcome if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do me a favor by subscribing and also hit on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you will be first to know and to my returning subscribers god bless you i appreciate your support so so much so today we are making a delicious goat's meat light soup this is so so delicious and it doesn't take too much time to make so if you are interested in this video please stay with me till the end and let's make this together part of my sub's kitchen you proud to be part of my sub's kitchen In my blender, I have my onion, garlic, ginger, rosemary, anise seed, pepper, and I've blended it into this fine paste. Here, I have my goat's meat in my saucepan nicely cleaned. I will bring my paste on it, rinse the blender with water, and then bring it onto the meat. I will add in my all-purpose seasoning, add my goat seasoning from Rimi. It tastes amazing. And then, I will add some tomato puree come in with my salt cover my pot and let it begin to cook so these are the vegetables i'll be using for my soup i have nicely cleaned my vegetables so i'll go ahead and cut it into smaller sizes so i can add water and then cook it up if you have not used carrots and all those vegetables that i'll be using for my soup before kindly give it a try you will love it i know most of you or most Ghanaians use garden eggs for their soup but if you change it to other vegetables you will love it more it tastes amazing so here i will add my onions and tomato add water and then bring it to the stove top to cook i'll go ahead and check my meat and see how it's going i'll give it a stir so every spices will get onto the meat and it will taste amazing at the end so now my vegetables are well cooked I'll go ahead and blend it into a very fine puree so I can bring it onto my meat so here I will once again give my meat a stir and then I'll come in with my blended vegetables I will rinse my blender and then bring the water back onto the soup the thickness of the soup depends totally on you i don't like my light soup to be too light i want it to be in between so here i've been cooking my soup for about 20 minutes i'll come and then give it a stir and let it continue to cook if today is the first time coming across my channel hello there my name is myself kindly subscribe to this channel and be part of this family always taste for salt and if it's not okay you can always add more so I've been cooking my soup for about 50 minutes and I love what I'm seeing it tastes amazing so now I'll come in with some pepper to give it a very nice and beautiful taste i'll go ahead and lower the heat of the stove so i can go ahead and prep up my fufu light soup without fufu Abba. yeah so now let's go ahead and prep up my fufu so i have my powdered fufu here that is plantain i added hot water and then go ahead and give it a stir then mix it up until it comes together before I bring it onto the stove top this is how I make my fufu it is so simple and it tastes really good just look at this this is what I'm talking of so now it's time to bring it onto the stove top and then continue from here if it becomes too hard I'll add a bit of hot water 
give it a stir until it becomes like what I like. It is so simple to make and we are getting there. It is almost done. It tastes amazing. I will list all the ingredients and the quantity in the description box below. Do not forget to check it out. If you have watched this video till this far and you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly do me a favor by subscribing and also hit on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you will be first to know. Now let's go ahead and serve our goat's meat slice soup onto our fufu. Just have a look at this. Amazing. And the taste in here is awesome. If you really like this video, please give me some thumbs up comment like and share this video with your family and friends until i come away next time with another simple but yet tasty recipe bye for now smack like eight